Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Liminiscent here with a reading for the moon transit. Um, I was taking my time because I'm like, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> but like right at the exact moment that there this first quarter square of the moon was when I started to get settled and get the recording done, so very uh capricorn square libra okay trying to find the best time to start something new and still be balanced in what's going on in the present and what you what you want to happen in the near future so um with that um first quarter square there is a t square with the cardinal signs and that is saturn and mars retrograde in their home signs Aries and Capricorn are squaring off with an opposing Mercury in its shadow in Libra. And the only sign in the cardinal that's not present is Cancer, so which is right here. <laughs> so um, we definitely got some emotional security to be facing or to look at and feel up so the square won't kind of knock us off our square pretty much so i'm um, just getting into it um we have the four of cups and the king of cups that came out um as well as clarifying with the thoth deck um using modern modern witch of course um the prince of wands and the prince of swords which are kings um, and other decks and then clarifying the king of cups is the devil the hanged man and the emperor and I was just like wow all measures okay so I mean it's for a reason right so with the four of cups um this is a card about um, being apathetic um also staying you know over it getting over things emotionally um, you know, the three of cups is about, you know, celebration and the coming together. And it's like now that the celebration has ended, um, everything is over, you know, it's like, okay, well now what? Like, you know, I was having so much fun or this was going one way and now something else is coming up. And then you got this hand here, this fourth cup that's being offered from out of thin air, literally. Um, and you know. It's basically spirit just saying, hey, just pucker up, buttercup, like it's more to come. And the Prince of Wands is about taking action um, based on what's true to your heart and, you know, going after the things that, you know, make you sing, that make your vortex feel like it's actually raging and it's moving. The Prince of Swords is like the King of Swords, so this is about being wise and using your intellect along with your heart to make proper long-term decisions um, as the king of swords is usually the sign of Aquarius and uh, with the lion here this is definitely Leo, Leo energy and these are opposites so it's like yes we want to use our heart for things and we want to invest in things that will ground us in the reality we want to be in but we also have to make sure that it makes sense the dots are able to be connected things are able to still process on a logical level as well as a heartfelt um, passion behind it so um, we can have difficulty with establishing this type of balance with the sun being in libra and squaring off with capricorn because they're both are signs about initiating new things and with Capricorn, you want to initiate new ways of discipline and, you know, maybe um, a form of discipline is something that, you know, you may not have been used to or creating a new form, rather, of discipline um, is something that, of course, you're not used to because it's new, but, you know, it'll pay off in the long run. So we go from the Four of Cups to the King of Cups here, which is about, you know, in the deck, it talks about um, having kindness and showing, you know, tenderness and compassion for others. Um, also, the King of Cups is someone who's able to control his emotions. So we go from um, basically having a fit or feeling apathetic in situations to being wise and um, having peace 
in our emotions because um, we will be tested with this um, Capricorn energy, especially with that uh, T-square. We're definitely going to be tested to show and prove that Cancer energy is existing in us where we're able to initiate new ways of feeling um, with our emotions and we are able to detach from, you know, what things may look like and take a, a different perspective with the hanging man. And that's where the real power lies, having peace and, and, and giving peace, you know, from within to without and not letting, you know, physical things, earthly attachments take us off our square and make us, you know, go back to feeling apathetic about the world. We you know we want to maintain our sense of peace by controlling our emotions, no matter what happens, no matter what changes come about, no matter what comes up to scare us, we still have the power to, you know, stay true to, you know, what God's plan is or the plan that we co-created with the universe. And we'll see so much more power in doing that rather than just popping off, you know, at any given turn and, you know, just being very like you know with the mars being retrograde aries it's very easy for us to be agitated and want to you know cuss people out you know cut people off and you know just write people off very very quickly um as a new way of dealing with things and that's absolutely going to come back because you know with the retrogrades uh, we're gonna have to have those discussions and go through those phases all over again anyway so it's um, better to be wise, you know, you could, you're allowed to feel however you want to feel, of course, you have every right to understand it as well as express emotions, but you also want to be very logical and as well as using your intuition here with the King of Cups, um, you know, they say men don't really have intuition. They um, build up their intuitive abilities by staying as close to a spiritual regimen as possible that allows them to be guided um, until they meet a woman who can help them master that with their intuition. So um, neither here nor there, but I'm, I'm just saying that just to say, um, basically, we want to remain level-headed. We might be bursting with a lot of passion to go after things that we really want to do in enterprise but there may be some steps in between we may need to take that makes sense in the long run but may put a pause on some of the passion that our heart is yearning for and it's okay because in the long term you know we still come out on top these are all majors over here you know and this is the four of cups and this is the king so learning how to control your emotions and accepting the art of gratitude rather than apathy turns out to be the medicine that we actually need during these crises of situations that are starting to force everyone to spiral out there's a lot going on in the world and it's best to hang hang tight hang back and allow your Martian energy, your Aries energy, your I am Maddie presence energy to be more focused on ensuring peace within and um, sharing that peace with your community as much as you possibly can rather than give it in to fleeting desires and illogical ways of temporary um, pleasures or temporary satisfactions that, you know, is not going to fulfill you. You know, having peace again and allowing things to just be as they were, allowing yourself to sit back and not feel too attached to what's going on around you. Remember that life is supposed to be enjoyable. Yes, there are things that happen in life that may um, bring out our fears, but we don't have to attach to any of those fears. We don't have to be attached to anything um, in this dimension. It's best that we don't, you know, we don't want our attachments to cloud us in our judgments and how we deal with things on a day to day. So, you know, hang tight, you know, there's definitely um, energy in the air where people are very much riled up and upset um, emotionally and, and it's understandable. It's nothing wrong with that. 
It's just about how you take action and how you move forward with that energy that's going to matter more than you have an understanding of what you actually are feeling because you're um you're still responsible um for how you hold your cup of emotions you're still responsible for how that goes you're still have to you still have to maintain integrity you still have to show up you still have to be disciplined with your emotions regardless of how far or close to the situation that's going on you actually are and you know showing love instead of anger or even hate um would definitely be way more beneficial in the long run for everyone anyway um that's not to say that you should roll over and die that's definitely not the way to go about it we we, we don't encourage anyone to be cowards over here <laughs> um but we definitely do um I admonish anyone in at all to always take the peaceful route as much as possible. And that comes in many, many, many forms. So um, let's go ahead and pull over here. Okay, so we got expanding your perspective. One more. And adventure and play. Okay. So um, with this uh, quarter square with Capricorn and Libra, um, we can definitely learn to expand our perspective, especially with um, Jupiter going to Rex. Um, we are getting, you know, what I feel like is, an, is a little bit of, you know, a chance to go over some of the workload we've been given um, to get to the new phase of being that we're on the brink of. Um, but we definitely want to expand our perspective when it comes to emotions and what we feel and how we process them. Because, you know, with Cancer and energy, the moon, rather, the moon in Capricorn is at work. You know, um, a Capricorn moon person has to, um, or they can feel like they have to work or want people to work for any type of emotion, any type of sincere, you know, feeling. And it's just to make sure that it's real and it maintains, you know, truth. It maintains integrity. It's, it stands out and it stands to the test of time. Like you want to make sure it's real. And sometimes, you know, with Capricorn energy, we can get a little rigid in that area where we only want certain, you know, cycles to be repeated. And we need to expand on what those cycles are now that we got Jupiter and Pluto here because it's time for those um, varying degrees or percentages of what we call, you know, moon and cap wise, screwing off in Libra. Um, this is us challenging ourselves to be a little bit more fair in how we judge what is genuine emotion, emotional connection and what's not how we judge what is a genuine uh what we feel is a gen a genuine way to gain status in the world versus what is just a way to gain control over someone else and be manipulative and um adventure and play definitely um during this time we want to find a way to seek some type of adventure and play with all the confusion going on in the world um, it would definitely be beneficial, again, when it comes to seeking peace and finding our own outlet because, you know, we don't want to give our energy away to things that will overpower us and overtake us and use our own energy against us. We want to be in a mindset that this world is available f for us to adventure and play in whenever we want to in any way we see fit. So whenever we you know, feel apathetic in certain situations. We feel like maybe it's unjust, you know, for the time being. Um, now's a perfect moon cycle to start doing things a little bit more, a little bit um, with a little bit more of an expansion in our perception. Um, break down some of the rigid barriers that you have placed up with this cat moon that makes you feel secure, but it's not really giving you the balance and life that you need. 
find the adventure in play and being creative and relating with others without, you know, trying to manipulate the environment too much or um, allowing yourself to even be manipulated and be a part of someone else's adventure and play. Like, be your, yourself, be an individual as much as possible and, you know, stand 10 toes down on what it is that you're work that you want to do in the world. Because everybody has something they're supposed to be doing. Um, that's the whole reason why we're here. So <laughs> um, that's my reading for the square today. I'm um, going into um, the next, because the moon takes two and a half days. So during this course of the moon, um, it will hit, of course, the big three, as I call them, <laughs> Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter. Um, and it's going to get pretty um, intense emotionally with that square with Mars and the square with Mercury. Um, especially with it being a shadow and those two um, being still retrograde in Capricorn. So um, keep looking, keep expanding your perspective, keep looking for opportunities to um, find adventure and play in creating the balance you need in your life. Peace.